Mm -hmm. I'm not sure Tony and Wyndham are playing the same game today. <laughs> that was right down your tower there, Taylor. Yeah. The aiming point. That was like at the 30th floor of that building in the background. I don't care how good your iron play is on a big golf course. That's too much. I don't know if he meant to hit it right of the hole here, but it certainly did work out. Well, after absolutely pummeling a drive down the middle, tickles the wedge in there. Oh my, is that hammered right there up the right hand side. That catches fairway and his way down there now, here comes Siwoo, John. Well, it might help being 50 yards closer. And this looks really good. Oh, it's a beauty. He's, he lined it up like it's got a little bit of right to left, but it's slow going up the hill the whole way. This is to get within two. Yeah, yeah just tough to get it to the hole there, Matt. It's amazing what we see when we're out on the golf course that we pick up on, you know, and the player doesn't see that. This is really slow. It's hard to get to the hole and they come up short. Behind the slow twosome again, John. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Well, he only hit it 10 by Siwoo there. Oh, that's a good looking shot right there. I was trying to think if he'd come close to making a bogey. Oh, that thing, it wiggled back to the left to go in. That was awesome. Which means you've got some big par fours that are probably dead back into it. Good gracious. I mean, golly, he just caressed that 186. The gears that Tony Fino has are just stupendous, aren't they? What if he took a full swing? And this is just left of that little pine tree, just left of the hole. Oh, my goodness. 576 yards. This to get to five under. It's been a really solid day's work for Tony Finau. And moves him to four under and just two back. That was a little faster than Tony's normal swing. And right back into the wind. I mean, he just thumped that. That's so cool, isn't it? Big swooping draw up and over the trees. Early in the week, looked at the forecast, and this wind was not a part of that original forecast. Tony. Tony. And this was headed the other way. <coughs> Just missed that little shelf by a whisker, another five feet or so left of where his ball is. That would have filtered down a little closer to the hole, but still, when folks getting it in there nice and tight, and no one's converting. Fino at six to match more. He likes it. He's, he it. he's tied for the lead. He's trying to ride the wind from right to left. Shot. That's where you expect to see most of the golf balls right there in the center of the green. Put up the valley towards his back hole location. Boy, he has putted beautifully today. Can you make another one? For the outright sure lead. Did. Tony. 
Welcome to the party, defending champ. For the elite drivers of the golf ball, he qualifies. This is up the right center and just pounded. Needs a hop. I got a good one. All right. That's actually very makeable from over there. There's on tour this year that have improved at all six stroke game categories. Tony Finau. Oh, what a finish. Houston, the Eagle has landed. He's got a pitching wedge here, John. He likes it. I like it. I like it. What do you think, Mayan? Yeah, I just didn't quite give it enough room. And just a couple feet left for a record tying 62 that is now official. A fantastic feed out Friday. The defending champion. Grabbing the bull by the horns in Houston. You've been like over the last year, you've had to defend, I think, four tournament titles now. For you personally, is there any extra added pressure? Does it feel any differently when you come back to a place when you're defending instead of just trying to win? Yeah, no doubt. There's always, I, I think, that added pressure. It's a place that you've played well. Um, obviously, a course that I that I really like. So um, there's that added pressure on both fronts. But um, overall, it's a place that I have great memories coming back to. Um, I get great support here from the fans, so it's, it is pressure, but I look forward to coming, coming back and defending any title that I win. I know the wind really picked up when you guys were playing the front nine there, and that's the easier side of the golf course. Did you have any feeling that you'd be able to go six under in that stretch of six holes there between three and eight? No, you just kind of take it a shot at a time. You know, you don't, you're not really thinking about score too much in, in that situation. I knew I was in contention, um, you know, near the top of the leaderboard. Uh, with a handful of holes there to go, and, and then the putter just got hot. I had some nice shots, but it was mostly just you know draining some some long putts from long distance. I chipped in for eagle on on eight, and next you know I you know I was like wow I'm like eight under. So it's it quite strange how this game works, and um, but you know you're never thinking ahead too much. What did, uh, can, you, can you reflect on the last putt? I mean, obviously we've been giving you sixty one. Yeah, I knew what it was. Yeah, I knew what it was for. I you know sixty one would have been my lowest on the tour, in the course record here, but. Um, my lowest on the tour, so I knew I was going to give it a run. I wasn't going to leave it short. I knew that, um, and I just I hit a good putt, and it just it was barely too low. Um, I thought I hit it hard enough for it to stay on the line that it did. And it is kind of a reminder, though, how capricious this game is because your putter was on fire all day. But then yeah, the eggs. Yeah, it's it's you know the game. That's right. It's the game we play, right? Um, sometimes you never never really know what's going to happen, but that's uh, that's what keeps it fun. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.